Ladies and gentlemen, first quarter final from Hidden Cup 4. And here we can start to see brutal, brutal players, I believe. And the colors, Admiral Jisun and War Wolf are the colors. Let me change the flags. There you go. Amazing. And I will leave these colors. I'm going to leave the original colors. I'm sorry. Why? Because um, otherwise I cannot put the Fog of War. It switches the colors all the time. And honestly, it's fine. You should be fine. Now we have War Wolf on the right side with Kells. And Admiral Jisun with Chinese. Let's see who are these players. With the top 8, with the quarterfinals, we need to be much more accurate. And uh, let's see who is going to be. Kells War Wolf. Yes, like if Kells only is Mr. Yo who is using. Everyone is using Kells, amigos. Everyone is using. Is everything okay in the stream? I think all, all's good, right? All the quality. Uh, only, only thing is that I shouldn't have my face there. Uh, let's remove the webcam. Let's remove the webcam. You don't need to see me there, right? Yeah, it's better without the webcam. Okay, Wolf, War Wolf has uh, berries at the back, wood at the back, coal on the left at the bottom. Uh, the Ds are not so far. Sec, ready? Another pause? Stop beating back there, man. Okay. People say that this Admiral might be a GL player. We're going to really deeply analyze. All these are winners. And for how much money they are fighting today? How much money get a semi-finalist? I have no idea. But I'm sure that people in the chat will know. Because people in the chat usually knows everything, you know? Kia. Okay. Forgera, Kia. I don't think, I mean, okay, uh, I want some moderator make a pool and depend what the chat decide, I will put the webcam or not. Make a pool. Men with the webcam, yes or no. What the chat, what the majority of the chat decide, I will do. This is what I will do. So, pool. Pool. Is what I want to see. If you really want the webcam, I want to see the boats. Let's see if we have some moderator. Okay. And boat. Boat, absolutely. Over $6,000 to be into the semifinals. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, gold is in front. This gold is very nice. You can wall easily till the edge of the map. Okay. And yeah, it's great. It's great. For now, we see how and... Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Three villages on wood. How many villages on berries? Three villages on berries. And now he's going to take the board. Let's see. China. China. Ooh. Werewolf is losing the scout. Werewolf is losing the scout. China. You need to be a really amazing player. Obviously, obviously you have 18... 18 seconds. I don't see because in the start you cannot make villagers. What is blue doing? Mm. Some uh, misclick. Some misclick. 62% webcam? Who are those 38% that don't want the webcam? I want to ban them all. I want to ban them all. <laughs> it's too many that don't want my webcam. You know? <laughs> Anyway, this is what you wanted, and this is what we get. I expected the 90%. Honestly, that's, that's a lot of people that don't want the webcam. So probably they think that being with the webcam is distract to the game. And they might be right. So I'm not sure if I should use the webcam, honestly. Because I really want to provide the best cast possible. I think I can do with or without the webcam, because for me it's the same. I'm not, I don't change my casting at all. But... I really like this transition. And back to the game. Admiral Jisun, Chinese, 22 population, walling the berries, five villages on wood. Oh, wow. Five? 
11. Wall in this area. Need to pay attention on details. Is this guy going really forward? Is this guy going really forward? Don't know who War Wolf is, but wow. Five villains forward in a quarterfinals hitting cap four with already almost three militias. Teal cannot see it. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Why say run of 16? I didn't put this. Quarterfinals, and now he's coming with the five bellies. He's gonna be the barrack, and oh yeah. We need to check blue point of view. And no, I'm not gonna put the, the red color. I'm gonna put blue and teal. We can't see blue and teal properly. The color is different, it's very different. I have also some mods. Men at arms and He's coming with a tower. He's gonna make a counter tower. Yes, he is. Also with some small heal advantage there. That is not make a lot of damage, a lot of difference against the tower, but yes, against the buildings. He's going to to stop that tower. I think Teal should stop that tower. I don't know what Blue is doing, but Teal should have cancelled that tower, in my opinion. Because now he's gonna be fuck. Yeah. Teal didn't change that tower which surprised me a little bit because now if we go to his point of view we can see how he's gonna take the wood but you know it's much worse that he's taking the berries that's why probably he let that tower there now he's gonna mine a stone i'm gonna make a house here he's well defended he's more than well defended he should wall that tree because if blue notice he can chop that tree and go in if he's not doing a house there if blue is playing smart he's gonna cut the tree He's gonna chop the tree. He's gonna chop the tree. Not anymore. Not anymore. And this is an RT range. Yeah, Teal is not playing a sloppy. Two, three villas on stone. Three villas on stone. Now goal. But this is an outpost. He has three villas on stone, but he doesn't have anything to get inside. Teal is completely fine. I'm gonna keep on his point of view. He doesn't have yet anything. He's focusing more on his economy. Obviously, he has the RT range, but then he's gonna make a tower here. Teal should make a tower in this area, probably. Yeah, he's gonna make the house, well, or maybe at the back. Now, you want to defend the stone. You don't want to be... Tone Watch, I love it. I love that upgrade. Really good. Now he's doing an archer. And blue. War Wolf. It's kinda stubborn. Some people was telling that this war wolf is Bacti. Can be Bacti? With this gameplay? It's possible. He do sometimes these kind of strategies. Now doing the tower. Yeah, he's he's unable to go in. He's unable to go in. Okay. Well, player Teal is playing absolutely smooth, that's for sure. I mean, he's not getting any any big problem at all. He's doing the tower, now 5 Valley is here. There you go. Doing the blamis on the right side. Deers, and he's probably going to be gathering more arches, not to defend. Soon, he will send the counter-attack. Let's put the all visible. Now he needs to, to wall at home, but he has the archer range at home. The problem for blue is that he has five allies idols. It's true that he's forcing Teal to have five allies idols as well. But now blue has an advantage. Warwolf has three bullets on stone, while Teal is not mining stone anymore. But he got the arches and those men at arms shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Leary going five villages forward? No. You mean Teal? No. Admiral is not Leary. Admiral is not Leary. Leary will never pick islands, I'm sorry to say. But Leary don't pick islands as a home map. 100%. Leary don't pick islands. I mean, he can play islands if the other opponent play. He's not gonna ban islands. 
But he's not picking islands as a whole map. You know? No. Anyway, we will see. Now, Mr. Yo, don't pick. Don't pick China often. I don't remember Mr. Yo picking picking China. Now he's trying to go with the village. He's trying to take that tower down. Anyway, I will focus in the play style in the game. And then I will try to analyze all the moves they do to see who they are later in the game. I'm not going to go a lot with the guess. You can guess yourself in the chat who they are. But uh, let's see. Let's see who they are going to be. Yeah, he's not losing anything here. Two bullets going down. Now that tower is going to be bye-bye. Yeah. He's doing a good job. One yeah. bullet down, two bullets down. This can be... Yeah. This kind of gameplay... It's... Uh, might be Bakhti or ACCM. Did they play similar? Bakhti and ACCM have similar play styles, if you ask me. Seriously. And that was very stubborn. He lost already three villages. Three villages. Teal didn't lose yet a single unit. 5-0. For now in the KD. 5-0. He has 8 villages on goal. And check his resources. This kind of gameplay with that smooth economy. Well, you know who I'm thinking that he might be. Anyway, Luis Wall in all. Still didn't wall all yet. But Teal doesn't need to attack. Doesn't need to attack. He just need to be safe. And look at the time up by Admiral Ji Sun Sin Snake. 39 villagers and a good amount of army to defend. Now he's doing the stable. He's gonna take the men at arms. Okay. Yeah, very, very smooth defense. Uh, blue is gathering some good economy, but he has double RG range. Where's the Blasmith? Here's the Blasmith. He's walling. Didn't wall all the map. Still open. But if now Teal is attacking, if Teal now attacking is, it's gonna be deadly. Yeah, I mean, he's almost Castle Age. And he has even Cold Mining Upgrade. Second is stable. Those men are going to go down. Looking good for Teal. Looking really good for Teal in the one. Yeah, we can see where the players fail. And I say, Teal didn't fail in any single moment. Who didn't fail in, sing in any single moment? Well, you can think whoever you want. Blue, he failed a little bit in those towers, being a stubborn okay. here. And, uh, well, let's see. It's a little bit harder to analyze, but uh, to be honest, yeah, he's doing now the will borrow. Going to get the hill advantage. He has a lot of army here, Wall Wolf. Shouldn't, shouldn't take a risk now, Teal. War Wolf is coming. You have to be careful. He has the hill. Ooh. Yeah, but he got a good amount of army. I think Blue should be fine with this trade. Even more since Teal is in Castle Age. Blue is taking this fight very happily, really. Because he has more army, he's taking absolutely everything. But you know, Admiral Jisun, two extra tone centers right away. And now, sending the knights. With the knights, he will clean all. He's completely fine. I mean, Teal, it's in a super good position. He's not gonna clean those easily. Yeah, he doesn't have any upgrade yet, but he will have the plus one. Gonna kill all those archers. And we'll have three TCs. So, when Blue Ridge Castle is, that is gonna be soon when he's gonna click. Teal will have 20 billions more. Remember my words. 20, maybe 20 is too much. 10, 15. 10, 15 will is more. Because he has three TCs already. And blue is clicking now. He's doing the tower. He's now on the way to Castle Age. And you will see how many villages he will have. If Teal obviously doesn't have the, the TC idols. But now he has one idol. Well, he's doing the Boso. Yeah, he's doing the other. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to be really, really ahead. 1,000 score different, guys. 1,000 score difference. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Teal wasn't really uh, in very, very worried about that. Oh, he's going forward, even with a with a siege workshop. Okay. Makes sense. He see that he has an important advantage, that his opponent is in feudal. So why not? He's going to break. 
He's gonna break. Ay, 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 no. He should move a little bit to another spot. Try to open several spots. Yeah, but don't don't go for the same all the time. Yeah, but he's disturbing. He has the siege wars up in front. His four build is ahead. Seems he's going now more aggressive. He's not having all the TCs working. He has one idol. No, not anymore. It's working already. And now he's doing plus one. Scale mail armor. Blue is fully walled, but look what is happening here, man. He see the edge of the map and he walled like this. <laughs> it's happening all the time, man. Seriously, it happens to everyone. Well, a lot of houses. He's holding or trying to hold. He's now going to have a mangonel. Then if he's doing few crossbows, he's gonna be bye-bye. Let's see here because he got a lot of his spears. He's trying to go forward. And is that going to work? Ooh. Just kill the villagers. Yeah, both are not really paying attention, but taking the fight here for, for Teal is really good because he's killing all before his opponent is doing the pikeman upgrade. Look how he killed everything. Now doing another barrack and the mangonel is coming. Total destruction. Total destruction. Blue losing absolutely everything. GG. Well played. Admiral Jisun. Total domination. He lost pretty much nothing. Never ever lose. He killed all. And Admiral Jisun won super easily. This is so Viper. But now you say that is Viper. I said Viper before I start the game. So don't start now to say, Oh, it's Viper, it's Viper. I said Viper before you. Okay, one zero. Let's go and check. <laughs> okay, let's see what is going to be here with statistics. Military, 15 largest army, 14. He killed triple the units. Economy, more food, more wood, and more gold. Not a lot because there was no time to have a lot more. But 13 villages more. I say 10, 15 villages more. Well, 13 villages more. And the first game has been, I don't know if you agree, a total domination. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two is cross. And we're going to have some good game for sure, guys. For sure. And hopefully, it's going to be beautiful. This is, guys, Hidden Cup. And as you can see here, look at this. Werewolf eats Lucy. Admiral Jisun won. And, uh, well, let's let's go and put now the correct GG. What is this? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> and we have in the north, Admiral Jisun with Byzantines. In the south, we have Werewolf with the Hands. I love the Hands, but Byzantines can be so deadly in this map. For the fast Imperial, for all the cheap units. But, yeah, this is a very interesting matchup. Very, very interesting matchup. Yeah. Okay. Being said that, we need to see what we are going to see in this one. A lot of action in Feudal. I would love to see that. We need to analyze for that the map. He has gold in front, Paris at the back. This goal is very, very good for War Wolf because you never know what can happen. And he's really well located between both trees, both forests. The stone, not the best. And this one, terrible. Till the goal, well, you will see. Then Teal, this is okay goal. It's in front, but not super forward, not far from the TC. Obviously, having something at the back is always great. But if he's walling like this, yeah, but he will need some big walls. I prefer War Wolf map a little bit. I don't know what you think, guys. Just a little bit. It depends, obviously, how they're going to locate the dogs and how they will wall as well. This map has a lot of resources. If you really move all over the map, it's fine. It's just absolutely fine to move all over. So, well. Do you think Admiral is Viper too? It looks like Viper, yeah. It looks like Viper. Like Viper. But we need to see all the series and decide. Pero, tal vez. Fine. Okay. Tal vez. There you go. Good luring. 
I till now blue pushing the deers. I'm not so sure who War Wolf can be. I don't really remember really really great the the first uh, series he played. So I'm not sure what games it was. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I was telling I'm not sure about War Wolf. I say that I think that he's a player from Vietnam. Back to your ACCM. You know? But when it finishes this series, I will be able to make a a better argument, you know? He was against Crazy Rusher. He lost Arabia all in. Okay. I think Vivi is out of the tournament already. In my opinion, Vivi lost in the first in the first round. In my opinion, I'm not sure. You know? Amor Mindu. Maybe Werewolf can be Bibi, but uh, Teal is Kimu. taking the Villier. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pure Lemin was trying to make the Palisade gate. And now he's dirty, but he took it. Who is this? Thank you, man. Nexus Fish donated 5 euros. Amazing. Thank you so much. Like the, the boys in the alert said, amazing. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. We have six villages on wood now. Five villages on wood only. Usually it's the standard to go up as fast as possible. And he's walling all the map. Okay. I think he's gonna wall all the map. And honestly, it's the right way to go. It's the, the best way to go in a map like this, seriously. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's walling all the map. He's not going to wall this area. No, Admiral is not the kid. I'm telling you why. The kid don't play cross like this. The kid don't play, uh, don't go wall. He usually loves to pick Japanese in this map and going aggressive, you know? Doing Barak and going aggro from the start. He is not walling all the map like this. This is more of a Viper style, in my opinion, you know? Or or, or some other players, not, not Leary. Leary don't play like Teal. Don't play like Teal. Okay, well, he's walling. He has three bullets on goal. Um, he's gonna wall all the map completely. You know? As you can see. Well, Blue is not walling anything at all. Feeling confident with the hands. But Teal? Faster up. And gonna do what? I don't know what he's doing. He's not doing a single barrack. He's doing any any economic upgrades. Double attacks. Okay. Pero? Sending Back another Belier. And he's walling all the map. And what Teal is doing is a sneaky dog on his opponent. This is exactly what he's doing. Because he explored and he's here, guys. And remember, Byzantines on water. Strong. Remember that they have Tone Watch for free. So with the dog, you see everything. He's now going to the third pond, walling absolutely everything, getting all the corners. Well, solid strategy. Very solid. You, you, are, you are using a lot of villages to wall, but it's worth it. Because now he's gonna take the fish. If he's taking the fish, it's, it's domination. And here, yeah, another dog is gonna be there. This is already, in my opinion, a huge advantage for Admiral Jinsun. A huge advantage. Because he's going to that corner. Yeah. But he will have three corners right now, Teal. Teal has already three corners. In a way to dominate. Yeah, he's doing fish. But he's gonna lose now everything. Whoa. Titanic. Little bit Titanic. To his scouts. He's gonna wall. Oh. Teal. That was a sloppy. 
That was very sloppy. He didn't notice this? That was surprisingly, surprisingly sloppy by Teal. Well, you shouldn't lose a ability like this. I don't know. Okay. And in this area, another dog. Oh well, oh well. He wants to have a dog in all the ponds. Yeah, he's gonna have a galley, but he will still be there. And we'll have galleys as well. And be like this, he's getting fire galleys. He's just doing galleys. Man. Galleys in all the maps, guys. Galleys in all the maps. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, it's possible that, like you say, sometimes you cannot click when it's too close and you miss it. Let's see if he's gonna go back. You don't want to lose. No, but the, the guy is gonna kill the spear. All right. Well, he has, as you can see, he did a double dock, but even with the double dock, he's having problems. He need to be careful. He need to go and take all the fish, maybe. No, he's gonna go attack. Now, let's see, let's see closer. If I can see the both galleys. He's taking that one. He's doing another dog. Well, Teal is creating the map instead of a, on a land aggression, full water map. And his economy, obviously, is being much better. He has already five villages more because Teal has killed four villages. Warwolf has killed the village that he got here. But, well, the map is full on the lakes. We're checking this. He has two galleys. Two galleys as well. Gonna do more. Uh oh. Problems. The scouts are coming. This is two dogs. I don't know if he's gonna make even a, a demo. Oh my goodness. And eh, he's he's perfect position then. He's in a really big position here. Eh, he's gonna take it and I'm gonna kill the others. The other as well. But kill it, man. Gonna take that one, and now he can go to take the fish. Take the fish, man. Yeah, look how he's walling. Yeah, this is pure strategy, a strategy approach. And for me, it's starting to be very clear who Teal is. Blue, I have my dopes, but look at this economy and look at this gameplay. Getting all the corners, getting absolutely all the corners, and about to go up to Castle Age, you know? Okay, he's losing now that one. He's taking the villager, almost. Yeah, but he's on the way to Castle Age now with crazy resources. He can go look a lot of villages on gold. Why that? Because Teal will be up to Imperial as soon as he reach Castle Age. If he won't, he can go up to Imperial, really. He's doing gold mining upgrade. He has 500 food already. 500 food already. And can you guys tell me in the chat how much food you need to go up to Imp on Cross? Please let me know, because I don't know. Yeah, I mean, of course that I know, but it's what I mean. He will have the resources. He did the gold mine in Arbred. He's doing now the barrack. First barrack in 20 minutes. Probably he doesn't need to go to Imp, but uh, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be surprised if he's even trying to go up with one TC going Imp. Yeah, he's not needed. Better to boom, probably. But uh, he will have that sick economy. Unbelievable. But if you go up to Imp directly, you can go Arbalest. Why not? Yeah, let's see if you have... Ooh! Skillbar in armor. Yeah, this is the correct approach. Right? Or not that the correct, the safest. You're just gonna go a lot of farming in Castle Age. A lot of farming. It's very risky to go up to Imp 
Because if the war wolf is coming full castle age aggression, then you have to stop it with what? He doesn't have any army in land, so... Mm. I'm trying to find a stable, and the stable is here. I couldn't find the stable, but the stable is on his base. So now, Blue is doing the blast Bozo, War Galley upgrade. Bother! 42 moons, man! 42 moons, whoa! Man! Okay. This is Bozo, and for now, it's looking, in my opinion, a brutal one sided first series of the day. We were hoping for a crazy quarterfinals. Remember that this is four series. And still, quarterfinals between some kind of players and others is gonna still be really one-sided. And... Well... I would be very, very surprised that Teal is another player than the one that we are talking the most in the chat. So, let's see, amigos. Let's see. He's taking now everything on water. This game is over. Like, I mean, he can do whatever he wants. But now, Teal can't use this. I mean, 20 villains more. It's not villains. He has the four pawns. Three fishing ships here. Another two, five, six. And another, how many? Another seven, 13. 13. Extra food, man. 13. That's crazy. Really crazy. He has no wheelbarrow, that's true. No horse collar, but Teal don't have a single farm. And now, <laughs> he's going to go with triple archie range on the way to Imperial. Look the resources. He's preparing the transition to Imp with the Arboless or not. Okay. Well, well, well. Ha! He put the... He dropped the... The relic... Outside the walls. Thank you so much. Mem is the best. Thank you, man. I agree. And... Uh-oh. Uh Botkin? Need to move those. Need to move. But why he's not moving those? Can you tell me? I don't know. But he lost one believe. And now... TC at the back. Okay. Yeah. He's doing all the crossbows. Nah, but he's not going for the passive. He's doing extra TC. He's now starting to make army. He's still with 23 delays more. Playing you safe. Controlling all the corners. And Teal knows that controlling all the corners like this, he shouldn't have a, a, a problem to come back. The problem here for, for Hans is, well, it is huge. Because you might think, while he's going Cavarsi, he could go full knight. Then, Teal can go full camels very easy and cheap, right? Super easy and cheap. It's difficult, man. It's very difficult with this matchup. And with the advantage he has with the police, the hands here has no answers, really. He has two going for the third tone center. I mean, it's a pity because with this kind of game, I don't know, I mean, this is a game for Teal to lose, not for Blue to win. So, Teal need to make the, uh, big mistakes. And Byzantis is one of the best decisions to defend. And now, what he's doing with two tone centers, with amount of crossbows, and then a 30C? Why he's doing a Lambrican? Just make a third tone center. No? I mean, Thunder. seriously. I believe so. Yeah, he did a few knights, but he's not doing any knight anymore. Now he's coming with the Mangonel. He can see the Mangonel. Let's go to his point of view. Fog of War. He has to be careful. Let's go. Oof! That Mangonel shot was beautiful. And another one. He killed a lot. He has to be absolutely careful till, or he can have some problems. The score difference is still big. But now, he's coming with Siege. He's doing the palace that he didn't react super fast. 
Blue has no ballistic. Do we now know the siege to our shop? But he's still not gonna make it. He's playing, in my opinion, now a bit too greedy and confident. And Teal is starting to have some problems. He's gonna make the 30 see on the goal, yes. But now, guys, Teal, it's having a really bad time. A really, really bad time. Guys, Blue is coming back from the hell. And Blue is now doing a huge comeback in this game. Villain's number. Oh my goodness. War Wolf, whoever he is, is taking the snake out of this game. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. This has been very greedy play by Teal. Teal is now behind seven villains, man. Seven villains. He was 20 villains ahead. And now he's in a disaster position. What the hell? He's gonna take the monastery. He's taking all the buildings. Going with the rams. And blue, it's now taking absolutely everything. Taking absolutely everything. Well... A city that was looking at 2-0 is not, not looking great. And now, you don't have to say, green played the sloppy? Yes, green played the sloppy in other cities, because this is blue and teal. But green played very sloppy. Um, I still think that this is the same player. We have seen this greedy gameplay before on, on, on the Viper. And now he will try to hold. Going with the mangle, let's see the crossbows. It still, those crossbows has all the upgrades. Ballistic, plus two, plus two. And with good micro with those crossbows, he's gonna take everything. Just look, he played just too greedy. If he just had the mangle, he has the game completely won. He is still a thousand score ahead, but he's now behind in villages. Doing at least skirmishers and taking everything. I'm telling you, like, if he just got the siege, he should have this game won years ago. The advantage with the fish is just brutal. It is really brutal, you know? But he almost threw the game. I mean, the game is now not decided because finally now he has less villages than him. But he has still a lot of farming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Teal losing all. Yeah, I mean... A little bit too greedy. He's losing an army that he shouldn't. Now blue can do a lot of damage if he make a castle forward. But deal with the army he has. Well, he, he dropped the relic, but but what is he gonna take the monastery? Ooh, 65, 65 HP. And the monastery is going to be down? No, he's not gonna kill the monastery. Oh come on. 5 HP is not crucial, but still repair. 5 HP monastery, guys. <laughs> Okay, gonna take the mangonel down. There you go. Let's see if he's going to repair. And again, he's recovering. But War Wolf, now he has 96 villages. And uh, the resources are looking good for him. He has now a lot of farms. Yeah, quite a lot of farms. That can help a lot. But he's gonna shoot. There you go. Shoot again. Why he didn't shoot again? I don't know. Yeah, but he still have a great economy advantage. This is a really good castle. A really, really good castle by Blue. Blue is definitely trying at the maximum. At the maximum. One for one. There you go. He got the kill. He's gonna open. No, he's not using. But that Magon is going to go down. If he's using the Magon against him. Got it. Yeah, that's a good micro. Uh, Blue is gonna go up to Imperial, guys. He might be behind the, in the score, but Blue is, up, Blue is up to Imperial. Blue is up to Imperial. And he's up to Imperial with 20 villages more. I don't know, but this game is not over. The score is because the ready to kill that is better for Amiral Jisun and the lakes. But man, this is, this is starting to be, oof, a problem for Blue, really. I mean... The score is completely tricky. Blue is up to Imperial Age. He might even now he's adding a little bit more farms and then he's going Khazars. He's gonna lose everything. It's true that Teal is about to go up too. But he, that he has a castle? Not yet, but he will. Okay. 
Oh, man, gonna shot. Man, gonna shot. No. Did the micro properly? He's gonna take the mangle? Yes! Now he has the heal advantage, he has to be careful, he has good army, but I insist. Chain Bard in armor, he's gonna go Tarkans, or he's gonna go Cavaliers? Because this can be so deadly, on the way to Imperial now! Again, that Admiral Jisun got, in my opinion, completely won. Look how he is now suffering to finish the game. Yeah, but now he's gonna make a castle here, he's gonna go Tarkans! He's going Tarkans. We all know that Tarkans got really great armor against range units. That's why he's probably doing the Tarkans much faster and they kill everything. Will Barrow now for Teal. Castle on top of that hill. And now, oof. Gonna kill a lot of villagers. There you go. Go, 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 but kill, man. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Well, a lot. Really a lot. He's going in now. And here... I will do a tower if I was him. Why not? A lot of farms. You got the stone. Make a tower. You defend a lot with the tower. But let's see. Those skirmishes are fully up. It's gonna send more. And he need to go back. The score is still a huge difference. It's crazy this game, right? How it was looking really, really ahead for for Warwolf. But Admiral has still got crazy score lead. But then if you check the population, he is really ahead. And now he's inside, he's still raiding. Those Tarkans are holding, man. Look. Look how they don't die. They don't die, man. The Tarkans kill all. They kill the units. It's true that the most are skirmishes, but still. But he's still killing villagers. Okay. And uh, the Vincent in Castle is gonna be difficult. He's now doing the Thumbrin. Thumbrin is crucial. He's killing more. We're trying. Now he's losing all. He's losing everything. Population, military, still have... Some some army, but not a lot. If you if you ask me, eh, well, he has those at home, but against the Tarkans, problems. He's gonna go camels. It seems so. You need to repair that castle. It's now doing chain part in arbor. The camels are going to appear in the the scene, and let's see if he's gonna be able to p p push it back. Tarkans only plus two. That's the problem. That. Even with 127 villages, blue has been at the limit all the game. These Byzantine castles are almost 7,000 HP. While 4,800 is 2,000 more HP. That's crazy. Blue moves raid. Yes, he did. He moves. But how? He can't. Teal don't let him. Now the skirmishes are going to be destroyed. Seriously. Is he gonna move? You need to go to the castle. Camels is gonna be an old man or no? Maybe here will be better the house. But he's doing camels. Heavy camels already. Remember that they are plus four. But no bloodlines are not plus four attack. He's gonna make another castle. A second castle on his face. The score is still there. And now Warwolf it's using the trebuchets. What a what a fun thing, right? Warwolf is using the trash. Ah! Alright! Paramount comedy! With three trebuchet, one trebuchet here, gonna take the castle, man, even with the Byzantines. Those are really amazing, those Tarkans. They don't die, man. They really don't die. Oh, come on. Well, the Tarkan has been great always. The score lead is still there for the Byzantines. But 146 village, 142, crazy. 200 population. Still trying to hold. And here we are with those... Well, camels, Tarkans, lot, lot, lot of farming. But those skirmishes are idle? Yeah, it seems so. Camels, what upgrades they got? Plus two only, he need a plus four and he's doing now heavy plow. This castle is very good. Avoiding the raiding. Avoiding the raiding in this area and there is a goal too. And a, and a relic as well. Oh, wow. Well, who will say that this game We'll keep going when Teal has been 2,000 score lead and over 1,000 score lead all the game. Now he's coming with the camels, gonna take the traps. Yeah, I mean, Blue is leaving the traps alone. Are you kidding me, man? I mean, are you seriously kidding me? He's leaving the trap widget alone? Without any protection? Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. And this is happening because Warwolf doesn't know what to do or what. He has no army, 14 army. What the hell? 
His army is 12 cap archers, 3 Tarkans. Now he doesn't know what to do. Well, how about these men and Hussars? That's the way to go. In my opinion. He's doing now Thumbrain. He's gonna go heavy cap archers. Cap archers against Byzantines. Good luck with that. Weird game already, guys. Weird game already. Okay, more camels. Skirmish is on the left, in top of that hill. Well, Blue is not throwing. Blue doesn't know what to do. He's doing now the heavy cav archers. Heavy cav archers missing some armor. Yes, I think so. And uh, okay, now the armor he's missing is the part and tactics. And that's it. Okay, camels and skirmishers. And what else is he going to do? He can't take that goal. Is he going there? No. A push need to happen. The amount of village from, from the Byzantines is, is huge. And he's raiding all the time. He's raiding all the time. Now hand card. Uh, Blue don't even have Bozo, no hand card either. Of course the economy average matters and at the end he's going doing he's going for the half of the years. Yeah, you can see how the, the sloppy play by Teal in the start, it, it costing him the, well, a lot of time to finish the game. Because he probably felt that he got the huge advantage, but after that raid it, he lost almost everything he got. And was in a toad position for a while. Now he's leading, but he has to be careful. The other guy got a handed 42 building, he still have, yeah, but he has no relics. Well, Admiral, two relics. He can take out also all the relics in the corners if he wanted. Yeah, man. Crazy. He's gonna make a castle here. Why? He's gonna make a castle here. To take this this dog. To, to, to get this gold. But... I'm not sure about that castle. But still. Not gonna be easy to finish. He's taking the gold here. Okay. And now gold. In danger at home. Damn. Why is not Viper? Okay. One, two, three. Which is gonna take the the treble or not? Uh, no, 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 no. And now he's gonna repair. La, 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 la. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he's repairing Kassar. This is exactly what Blue needed, but he's not doing. Now the score is getting closer and closer. 200 population both players. 200... 200 population both players. Ay, 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 ay. More halberdiers, and now what? He's taking the traps. Doing more tier ranges, but now blue is, is, in my opinion, getting map control. Like, if you check the mini map, mm, I'm not sure anymore. And another castle here. Ay, ay, ay. Well, only one castle for Admiral Jin Sun Sin. Well, he's going with the halves. He's gonna take it. He's repairing all the time, and the halves are not great. And the castle is behind it, uh, killing those when they are moving. He has to be careful. Military number is almost the same. And now 140, 122. Population is strong. You need to make more army. I don't know anymore who is winning this game. Ay, ay, ay. The score is still ahead for blue. And now we start to think, hmm, maybe it's not Viper. Or maybe Viper is just not impossible to kill like it was back in the days. Well, that's another possibility because we have seen Viper struggling in tournaments lately. So why not? Is struggling in hidden cap too. Yeah, it's possible. Now the rating is real. The score is getting closer. The war wolf is in a 200 population. This is the cap rams, and now he's going to push for the win. We will see. The trap here is down, and in this area, he is still be in problems. He's struggling, but guys, I don't know. I really don't know how 
still it's in this position when he was with a huge advantage and all the pawns seriously difficult to believe there's another relic that he's not taking teal has two relics but he could take all the relics and could be a lot could be six relics already now he's coming and holding man if blue is doing this castle is blue is B if blue war wolf is doing this castle it's gonna be deadly for admiral g soon Sing. Yeah, that castle man is taking the farmers, he's taking the gold, he's taking absolutely everything. He wants to keep the, the units here because he knows that the villains are coming. Ay, 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 Well, 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 well. It's still Teal with a lot of army. Teal is trying to come back here. Skirmishes and Halvard is he's gonna be able to stop this. We will see. He needs the siege ram. He has now zero villains on gold because this is the only goal left. He's gonna be able with this army to hold the position or not? Well, he has army on the right. He has army coming in the middle and a lot of army on the left. But all the siege is going to the damn hell. And the rams are all down. And I only see Trebuchet in this area. Teal is starting to suffer a lot to keep the lead in the game, which is not happening. GG call, man! War Wolf is taking the game! Honestly, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Whoa. Let's go, guys, and check the achievements. That was pretty crazy. And uh, pff, I don't know, man. Absolutely incredible, man. Really, really incredible. Okay. Statistics. Military, 80 largest army. 63 economy. He got more food, more wood. But look at the stone, doing castles all over, he pushed it and those cap barges just dominated, man. Dominated and came back from the hell. Achieving in capture age, how they are? I don't know how they are. I don't know how they are, the achievement in capture age. Well, um, GG, well played, guys. After the second game, that has been kind of shock. We're going to jump into the third. And uh, oh boy, guys. Oh boy, because we are really starting. And damn, hard to believe what happened in the previous one. And there we go, guys. There we go. We are starting. And uh, Warwolf versus Admiral G. Soon. Werewolf on the left, Berbers, Adelaide like soon, Italians, Italians. Okay, those are the statistics that you were talking. We will see the statistics. Okay. How, how to come back to the game? Okay, like this. Yeah, perfect. So I will check later. Werewolf will try landing. Well, Berbers is good on water. Okay. We will check those statistics later. And or during the game when there is not too much happening. The shape, uh, the island shape, it seems seems okay for both players. The goal is safe. That's the first look that I can see. Not this one, by the way. Berries are safe as well. Stone exposed. One stone safe. This wood is cool. Nice lumber can from Admiral G. Sun. And uh, I'm very surprised. Um, do you still think these players are the same or, or not? Because of what happened in the previous game. You know? Why nobody picks Sicilians or Burgundians? Because they are sucks. They are so bad civilizations. Okay, it's now going to push the tears and remember five elements of wood is the way to go with this uh, matchup. But well, guys, 
like Hey, from Venezuela, bro, nice stream Gracias, amigo, bienvenido Oh, Jesús Albornoz I think I know that nickname At least that you are another Jesús Albornoz I mean, in islands There's not a lot to talk Those two relics in the same spot Is kind of weird You know But we really have to wait You know And you think that people don't doesn't know these kind of things, uh, Moti? And they don't know that we are going to make wrecks? And some people will just type, good luck, have fun, exactly because of that? That's not important, in my opinion. The most important is the gameplay. So you guys think that that this guy is not Viper because he lost how he lost the previous game? Hello Theodosian, you just jump into the best and um, most beautiful map from the tournament, Islands. I have noticed that Theodosian always joined when yeah. when Island map is here. He's a he's a strong viewer, you know, a decent viewer, you know, guys. That's why I mention him because he he's connected, he's connected with this map. Yeah, absolutely. He's not pushing the deers, okay. And uh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. all the deer is under the under the TC. Both got the dog forward. Remember that Berber's ships are faster, <laughs> as villages as well. Like uh, it's a faster civilization, it seems. And Teal is doing the loom. One second idle TC. And after the loom, he's going up. Remember that you don't need 500 food to go up. With Italians. He's going up, as you can see. Well, blue. Oh, wow. Amazing. Good Dark Age by both. Fighting guys, remember, for a lot of money. This city is a lot of a lot of money. All right. Okay, taking the goal, and uh, I have to check what are the other civilizations left. I mean, they have used it, Kells. And the Huns, now Berbers. And then they use the Chinese. Byzantines and Italians now. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Well, they are walling. I mean, Teal is walling because he's expecting the Berbers is going to land. Yes, he is. And he's right. Because blue is landing. But he's landing in the spot that he probably never expected. Oh boy. This is a stable. And War Wolf is putting Admiral Jisun Sin in problems. In real problems. Teal is doing double attacks. He's doing the Tone Watch. With the Tone Watch, he's gonna be able to see the, the stable. Let's see, guys. Let's see. He's gonna be in the range or not? One second to discover. Ha! No! It's good, but not that great. Barak, he has noticed already that he's coming. And now, he's going to find him. There you go. Stable! All right. Presto. Need to polish that village, he's not doing. And he's coming now with the two villages. Let's see what Teal can see. This is his point of view. He has no village on the TC. That's the biggest problem now. Like, okay. And now, there's a tower on the wood. 
he has good sa uh, safe stone. I think he's to make a tower. He's not doing. Admiral Jisun is not reacting. He's gonna take a Velier. He take a Velier already. He's reacting now with the tower. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe he's not Viper. He has the tower there. I feel that his reaction time is just slower than, than the snake. He played very smooth in the first game. He was playing very smooth in the second. But then, I don't know. I, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. Let's see what he can do. And uh, on water? Well, he's still with the lead on water. He's mining a stone. And that tower is not tap. I like that Blue is putting the pressure on land, but now he shouldn't be able to do really a lot. He's gonna finish that tower, yes, he finished it. Tower. Okay, but he has the two villages or not? Now he's walling on the map, but he can transport. Ah, that's bad. Because now Teal is gonna take the transport. And that's really nice. Oh, he noticed and he's, he's moving away. Okay. Coming with the archers, but he's gonna be wall, fully wall. How many dogs he got? One dog only? Wow. Well, doing a lot with only one dog. This is a scout inside, but he has the arches. Need to get the spear. No, no, no. Oh, that's a good micro. Not anymore. Yeah, he need more archers. And those archers, without fletching, trying to kill those spears, but he can. He's trying to micro in another house, and he's mining so many stones. Wow. Why he's mining so that much on stone? I'm not sure, to be honest. Okay, he's gonna make a tower. Want to make the tower as soon as possible, it seems. Now, those scouts should be bye-bye. No, he's moving. But he has to be careful. Yeah, but the tower is going, going to be up, so he can't really do any damage. At least that he's bringing uh, the transport. But in the meanwhile, he is still with three villages more. He has the fish completely alive. He's gonna lose another villager, probably. No, he's not. Salve. He's gonna lose that villager? No, he's not losing anymore. The spears did the job. Blue is trying, but... Blue can't do too much damage anymore. I mean, this path is going through the TC. It's true that he has no village, so he can go in. And soon he will have more. And more towers. So having the water under control and being Italian is... Well, it's massive. It's very important, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, well, but you you need first to go castleage, you know? And sometimes if you mine a lot of stone, you just make that your opponent, War Wolf, we have a better macro. And this is exactly what is happening to Ocean. You can see that his resources is looking, is looking solid, you know? And if he's taking the fish down also, oh, baby. He's doing another tower, okay. <clears throat> well, blue blue doesn't have fletching. That's really bad if you have a lot of arches like he has. Well, a lot of arches. Good amount of raid units. He has five arches. Well, five arches and two skimmers is could be solid, but without fletching, he's not good. But what blue probably want is just to go castless as soon as possible. Because if he's able to put here siege, since he got a really stable. That can be deadly. That really can be deadly. And he's getting there. And gonna get the resources to get there and dominate. Well, it's fun. I mean, it's interesting. Because to be honest, at the end, they almost didn't kill anything on land. Because Steel is fully wall and now full of towers. The galleys are here. He need to go back or he will lose all. 
Come on, man. Move. Move. Yeah, just wait. And now he's Castle Age. While Teal... As I said, I don't like his macro. It's true that these Italians, and with Italians, you don't need 800 food to go up. So, he might be go up soon. He's a stable already. And with 600 something, he can go up. He's inside? No, no, no. He can't do the job. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Hidden Cup 4, quarterfinal, best of five, game three from the first series of the day. And... Well, we still don't know who the players are. Some people is guessing ACCM back this one, or this Viper Jordan, other like being from TL. Uh, I have my dogs uh, now. I'm not sure anymore. But seems that at the end, Admiral Jisun is really adapting well. He has 11 villains more. He's on the way to Castle Age. And he has also fish at the back here. That's good, man. That's good. Oh, that tower is annoying. But blue will go. Probably push. Siege. P -p push. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't need to go water. He needs to go all in. So, let's see, man. Okay. Let's see. He's doing the bozo now. Lot of resources. A look at the stone. Yeah, he's going to defend with the castle. I mean, Admiral Jisun knows that if he just defend with the castle, he has Italians and he should dominate. He should definitely dominate. He has two dogs only. With one galley, one demo drive, doing the war galley upgrade. Apparently, no army, no navy. So. Until, let's see what he's going to do. Um, where he's gonna make the castle? In the middle? Or on his base? Honestly? Monastery, dome center, war galley upgrade. Okay. This gameplay is more... Yeah. You can recognize more. Now, I feel the same again, you know? How you know, Mr. Yo, say that Teal is Jordan? I don't know, man. You you are the gossip girl here. I don't know. You speak Chinese? No. You speak gossip girl. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what happened? What happened is that I think since the players now it's more difficult to know who the players are because the difference between the players is is less than it was you know so yeah who knows but teal is still with more bullies more army also he has the stone which i really like it he's doing another dog here he's doing a second tone center but i'm not sure you don't want to have him here and uh, It handed a stone. He's gonna make the castle here. No, he's sending one knight. He's sending one knight to to do what? One knight, guys. One knight. I mean, with one knight you destroy. Okay. I mean, I don't understand why players that participate is casting. Because that's... That's really bad. You know, like... Mr. Yo, no, of course, his identity. And... Uh, I don't know. The concept of this tournament... The players who are playing, they shouldn't be casting the games. Even if it's Chinese or whatever, you know. Because I'm sure that, that some players guess a lot. Or even know in between them... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that that the players are now playing really great here. 
being a little bit sloppy and yeah probably now this is not a really really smooth play by by teal so don't think that this viper anymore after the second game and now this third game yeah this admiral Jin Sun shin doesn't look like viper maybe viper lost in the third round it's possible as well guys Okay, it's gonna be... Uh, okay. One, two, three. Well, he's coming back. You can see how now Blue got more villages again. Is recovering and uh, taking the most of it. And I have the feeling that War Wolf with Berbers is gonna win. Seriously. It seems so. He's still here with the village. So imagine if he can still control more or less the water, booming more, and then he also is still in this area. Doing bombard cannons or something in later in later game. That can be deadly. Both fights got two relics. Honestly, who is able to make a castle here is gonna be crucial. But the transition to Imperial is gonna be absolutely disaster for for one or the other, right? Okay. Like he's doing a second castle in, the, in this uh, area. That castle surprised me a little bit. Because I will go for, for the land. For the middle. But he's doing in the in this area. I don't know. Kinda, kinda weird if you ask me. Still now more, more navy. Uh, teal a lot more. And Blue is still losing more. Oh my god, they are losing a lot. Blue is not even controlling anything. What the hell? Yeah. Still have the village here, so now the castle it will recover all the area for sure. But Blue is about to go up. And... Uh, nah, but Teal is going up too. Is Italians yielding it 800 food? It has 10 villages less. But these go... For a late game on water, it seems, at least. Okay, I still have no, not a lot of navy. Yeah, Werewolf has killed 14 villages to Teal, but Teal is still okay. And Imperial Age, well, uh, Blue is going to go up to University and Market. Yeah, because he can't balance the economy. I can't believe this. And who you think is blue? I'm starting to think more and more that this is Bhakti. I don't know. I feel that his gameplay is similar to this. Yeah, Highlands is not the best. And this has been a little bit more because they landed, but the land wasn't really effective. The problem is that now they can't really attack. They're doing more dogs, going for the... For the galleys. And the transport is going to go down. What you're asking to me? I'm not the host in the tournament. We have to wait. It's difficult to say many things. We only can say that we have 20 villages more. And then we need to wait that blue rich imp. And make a castle where... He want to make a castle on Teal Island? He really want to do that. Oh, wow. Let's see what Blue is trying. He only can put five villages. He only can put five villages. There's another transport ship. 
with one HP. And now what? 1,300 stone. And here we are. Here we are! <laughs> Five villiers going with Leonardo DiCaprio. Jack. Titanic, guys. Real Titanic. Total Titanic. Now he's doing the castle here. He didn't even disturb this track. Still 20 villiers more. But, well. We love this game. Thank you for the sub, amigo. Thank you, man. Muchas gracias, hombre. Good timing. It's good timing to subscribe, man. Disaster, man. Disaster. <laughs> okay, and now? What is going to do, man? He has the castle now. He's in Imperial Age. He's still heavy with the score because his village number is insane. Remember that Berbers on water is solid. The, the boat's being faster with some good micro can help a lot. And now he's doing fast fire ships as well. Look, look, look at the micro. Amazing. Oh, oh my god. He almost didn't shoot anything. Okay. Now he's doing the castle here. Right? Yes, he is. I'm gonna take the relic. That relic. He's gonna go traps? Not really. He's controlling the middle. He's coming with galleons. The score is still ahead. And uh, with 20 villages more blue, he's doing another castle in this area. But letting the middle to, to his opponent with Italians is not the way to go. Oh, he has two stables here. Okay. Cannon Galleons is going to be needed. Yes, they will. I mean, Jisun is selling wood. Don't sell a lot of wood. Don't sell a lot of wood. Because there's not going to be a lot of wood in the map soon. Because it's going to be up. He's losing all the units. And the micro, I don't know if you feel it. The micro has been, during all the game, very terrible, you know. Very, very terrible in general. Not controlling a lot. But blue is being sloppy. There you go. Okay. More and more fast fast is no ballistic pressure. Galleon upgrade. Oh man. Oh man. Some problems. With the trebuchet, you can take that castle. That's why he didn't want really to go there. And now the traps are used taking the castle. That castle is going to go down. But military numbers. Admiral Jisun Shin. With now so many navy. 18 navy. Well, uh, Warwolf. Pretty much nothing. Not for now. He needs chemistry. He doesn't have the chemistry as well. But he can still come back and make more and more navy. How many dogs? Well, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Hey, power! How you doing, man? Hopefully you got a nice evening yesterday. With your lover. Welcome, everyone. Armax. Everyone in the channel. Praise as well. Everyone, thank you guys for joining in a Saturday evening. Always great to see... All the beautiful faces in the chat. And now we are watching islands that... Well, I'm not, I don't want to be repetitive, but we all know that... The Flea is not the most beautiful map because it's super repetitive. We accept some crazy strategies with crazy landing that it didn't work in this one. Now uh, we're gonna see how both players create as much as possible docks. And then try to... Ooh, I mean... A transport in front is not the way to go. He need to make some landing for sure. And get some map. But he's losing more and more. But now we see more and more dogs. Let's go. 12 dogs. 11 dogs. A lot of dogs. He's doing the masonry. Just to be safer. And uh, he's taking some, some good amount of units. Warwolf is still ahead because he got 122 villages. But maybe... 
I'll be like Jin Sun Shin, still with so many units all the time. And now he's going to raid. He want to make a castle here. He want to make a castle on Teal. If Blue is landing Teal, is the chance for Blue to come back, really. And I think he's gonna try. Yeah, he is doing. He's trying to disturb him. I don't know if he's gonna make his tables, but he's doing a castle. Teal is doing a castle. Oh boy. Oh really boy. He's going with Berber Billiards. Super fast, but there's no space to land. <laughs> they cannot land. Galley is unable, guys. Unable blue to mass army. He can't do army. He's trying to go. He's trying to go, but you can't land. This is a it's a super bad map. Like like when you have, I mean, you can have resources, but you try to land and then you can't land. You see, look, he tried to sneak and there's no space to land. The map is so small, you know, you need to swim like Johnny Bay's Muller. You remember Tarzan? Oh, that guy, he, he was. Uh, 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 wow, amazing on water, you know. You need to, to swim, otherwise it's impossible. Really impossible. 21 army, 65. He's trying to spam, but he can't. The Trevor is now taking this. Yeah. Well, because he can't deal house more army all the time. A lot. A lot of navy. A micro better. There's another castle, but not working, man. He's going back. There's the Trebuchet. There's no bomber cannons. And, uh, well, what the? Lot of galleons. Treadmill Crane now, when he has built everything already. I mean, Warwolf is unable to have more navy. He has been f with 15 navy, like, the whole game. He's wasted all. Look at the rate you kill that. It's, psh, it's insane. And the domination, it's absolutely there. Please, Warwolf, resign. Go for your home match. Please. Oh! Another castle here. Yeah, and what do you want to do? Like, he's sending all the galleys to death. Oh. More dogs, okay. He want to probably try to make him go out of resources, right? Admiral got three. Three relics, and how is the resources for deal? Uh, okay, I don't know, man. So, guys, this city is who who they are. Back to ACCM, Jordan Viper. Those are the the bettings for these uh, for these guys. Some of those four. Back to Mr. Jordan. Or those four that I said. I'm just asking for the thumbnail. I want to make a thumbnail with them. <laughs> ACCM was playing this morning. He's out. Tizona, who cares? This is recorded games, man. ACCM playing this morning, it, it's, it's a reason. This is recorded games, man. Who cares if he was playing this morning? And, ooh. He's trying to make a tower. 18, maybe 15. Big speed here. Well, yeah, it's very hard to to micro with those with those ships but but teal is just destroying here so it's what it is i don't think it's jordan 
because of the first game gameplay. I'm sorry to say, but I don't think Jordan has that smooth gameplay in Arabia. I don't know what you think, but Jordan doesn't play that smooth in Arabia. And in the first game, the first game that is the map that we can recognize the players the most, that gameplay in Arabia was Piper gameplay, in my opinion. You know? Seriously. Yeah. And then he cross Greedy Viper as well. And now here, well, I mean, he's destroying. We can't say that Teal is doing bad. Look, his economy. Yeah. For me. It's what it is. It's game over. They are not resigning. He is not resigning. And, uh, well, we uh, just wait. That War Wolf is gonna resign and try to avoid that we keep suffering this. Now doing the castle here. Please resign. Please. I am on my knees. Please. I am praying, man. Pray. We need this game finished. Now. For God. I am in. I am in the floor. Here. Thank you. If I knew that, I will be praying a long time ago. Thank you, guys. Thank you. He, I did it, and he quit. Yes, it's appreciated that people believe in religious people like me. <laughs> anyway, the game was over a long time ago. And Admiral, I want to, to spam the man pray, please. Go, go, go. But jokes aside, the game was over, like, completely over. And Control alt s Control shift s What is the... Control alt s Yes. Okay, this is the statistics. As we can see, military... <clears throat> what, well, I mean, just on destruction, economy. And we can see here, the military, what is this? 1.46, what that means? I have no idea. Kills, kills, losses. You can see a lot more. Ah, it's the ratio. It, this is the ratio. 7.5 more. Okay. Conversions 4, army high. Well, 82 more. Economy. You can see the economy. More food. More wood. But more gold. For teal. Really gold as well. He got 3. And technology. The time, imperial time. There you go, guys. And social, the most villains, but here is what matters, guys. What matters, it's the water, guys. The galleys and in military, the advantage was absolutely huge. 30 largest army, man. 30 largest army. Impossible to win like this. Game number four. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go now for a beautiful one. As you can see. And uh, it is, it is what it is. Let's go, guys. We are connecting, and this is the game number four. Admiral Jisun and War Wolf. It's going to be, hmm, the definitive game, or we're gonna go for the five game? Admiral Jisun, Mongols, War Wolf, Japanese. Hmm. Okay. Paris on the right side. Poof, this map. I mean, the goal is fantastic. The Paris is not great. In front is very open. But everything is here at the back. You need to wall and we'll be fine. Code in front. Paris at the back. And, uh, well. One has the Paris in front, the other the goal. You will need to wall. And the lake, let's see how much they're going to to fight for the lake, for the pond. Because then there is plenty of resources, as you can see. And with the Mongols, you expect him to move and go for the hunt. Yeah. Oh, the beddings. Let's go for the beddings, yes. The beddings, that was... Uh, that was Admiral. Okay. Yeah. And now, 
for the patterns. Okay. Let's see now. This game needs to be the confirmation of the players. Guys, Admiral Jisun Shin is laming the boar. You know? He's taking the boar and uh, taking a boar when you are the Mongols is amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Yeah, NBL picking islands as a whole map. <laughs> absolutely. For sure. It's like if he pick arena as a whole map. Pretty much the same. Anyway. Bore under the TC. And here, five villages on wood. And honestly, taking the first boar from your opponent when you are Mongols is beautiful. It's really beautiful. Let's leave the dog. He has to be careful with that. Obviously, he has no loom. He's not gonna lose a lot of HP in that valley here. And now taking the boar. There you go. Yeah, this is great because maybe he can go up and don't need to take this boar. And then he can take this board during during the feudal age. It's possible. It's really, really possible. We will see. It depends how how fast he can he he wants to go up. Yeah, both has efficiency more or less at the same time. Same population. And listen now, Warwolf it's obviously going for the berries. Also he's with 50 villages of wood and oh my god. Did he miss some ships? But why he doesn't have the ship here? Under the TC. Oh, this is really bad. I mean, this is really, really bad for blue. Um, I don't want to be um, negative, but this game is over. <laughs> like, like seriously. Blue has no... I mean, did he land with also ships or something? He's doing a mail here. And uh, he's going to make the loom. But he doesn't have resources to go up. He has now seven villages on berries. He needs to wall everything. And the good thing is that the Japanese fishing ship will hold more. But he's not doing more. You know? Fast castle. And if you lame it a few ships. And as I told you. He's not even taking the... Or, I mean... If Teal doesn't throw, uh, the advantage is huge. The advantage is just not huge, it's, 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 it's brutal. It's brutality. He's on 300 foot. Now gonna palace it till the edge of the map, okay. Three ships on board, am I in? Now doing the barrack, because he feel, I mean, he can feel that he's going to dominate. Aye, aye, aye. He need to thin in Castle Age, but no, he's gonna take the scout. He's definitely gonna take the scout. Okay. And Teal? Teal? Yeah. My goodness, man. My god, what's going on there? What's going on? For my diet, guys. You see, my diet, my diet. Ah, uh, it's fit. It's 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 for diet. It's from bananas. Banana split. Platanation. Okay. Guys, my wife is bringing is bringing me food. Okay. For being fit. This is I even mean, if it's look chocolate, it's banana. You know? Incredible. 
No, no, it's diet. It's diet. It's it's diet. It's not it's not a sweet. You know. Si copy a, um, I don't know how to say in English, uh, una receta from a sport website. Anyway, back into the game, he took the um, took the fishing ships. He's here with a belly forward, I don't know for what. He's now on the way to Feudal Age. He's probably thinking on Castle Age, yes. Now he's doing the barrack in this spot. So, well. Blast beam. Archie range, he needs to find, obviously. The hunters, he no, he see the hunters, and now the, the archers are coming. So he's gonna lose that villier. I'm gonna lose those as well. But it's different, is there. Three villiers more already. But the economy is it's, it's solid. He's gonna go up to Castle Age. Okay. I like how he's adapting. Doing a second archery range. Okay. He's not doing any farm here. He need to. Let's see if he's gonna put the village to work. How long is gonna be those villages idle? Not so long. Okay. Yeah, the hunt is gonna give a good, uh, good, good timing to go up. He's one in all the map, and he knows that he's going castle age. Market and blasmith. Market and Blasmith. And and then what? Because the arches are coming. He's gonna go some siege or, or what? He's trying to check all the map. But today the games, except the first one, uh, kinda slow. Because the cross was very slow. Till the late game that was very active, but very slow the, the games. No action at all. Obviously here is forced by Teal. Because Teal has forced Blue to make this strategy. He couldn't do any, any feudal aggression since he didn't have the resources to go up. So he has to adapt. And to be fair, he's gonna be in Castle Age in very, very good time. 16 minutes. But Teal? 17 minutes. With seven villages more. He got, he got three fishing ships. And well, no horse collar yet. Blue needed horse collar more because he's doing farmers. Teal doesn't have a single one. A single one. Now he's doing a stable. Stable, but he's gathering food with five villages on berries. And where's the hunters? Uh, do I miss the hunters? No, it's just the fishing ships. So the food income from Teal is not great. He's doing gold mining upgrade. Okay. Ah. It's not knights, it's cab archers, I believe. Some archers and then transition to cab archers, probably. And blue? Is seriously going to to go back to water? In my opinion, that's bad. I mean, it's three fishing ships. The average war galley is, is expensive. Look at resources. I don't like this approach, man. I mean, fast castle into water. Come on, man. Come on. Really? It's not good. It's really not good. It is water with that dock. I'm not sure. I think the I think the units can go through this area, to be honest. You know, I think the units can go there, but I'm not sure hundred percent. Second tone center and now cab archers. Cab archers versus nothing. Right? Yeah, because blue is still doing nothing. Don't get it, man. This is so weird. So awkward. You know, two dogs against one one galley makes sense to me. And he's doing more war galleys than a demo. Oh my. Oh my. Well, and now Teal is here with the crossbows, taking the goal. This is so bad play by Blue. It's really bad play by Blue, honestly. That's... I don't know. Well, and what food he need? He's doing cab archers, he's doing town center, he's doing all the farmers. I don't like the choice of three TCs. I mean, why three TCs when you don't have a single farm? Like, you're gonna have the idols, the TC idols completely. He's doing a monastery. You just make farms and one extra town center. Don't get it. Yeah. Anyway, he's going inside with the crumbles and with those cab archers. He will have the three town center, but look, that, look at the idol TC at the bottom right corner. 
Let's get him inside. And what blue is going to do? Well, the siege. Scorpions. Either TC. And either TC. He's doing one volley. On one TC. Well, now, not a single one. Look at the idle TC. All the three TCs. Idle. Now doing a belly. Two TCs idle. This is uh, not a great play, in my opinion. I mean, much better than blue. I mean, he got a huge advantage, so maybe he can't afford to do that. But uh, shouldn't do it. Two TCs is an old, and then farm spamish. Spamish uh, farms. What I say, man? I don't know what I'm talking. Spam farms, amigos. Yeah. Okay, one, two, don't centers. Doing now the lumber cam. Yeah, but the problem is that even if he got a, he a few scorpions, this is gonna be a massive idle time as well. It's true that look at the villies. You know, look at that Mirage soon. Five minutes idle TC. Five minute idle TC. Uh, well, it's what it is. Now he's starting to make villies on all three. Because he got a good amount of food, but a lot of idle. And now he's coming from behind. Going with those camp archers and some problems. Okay. Okay. He killed one volier. He can break it. Yeah, he still break it, but but he's he's getting a lot of idle time here for for blue. I mean, Teal has a huge advantage. Even if the numbers doesn't say he's only three villiers, but he still have a lot of a lot of yeah, a big lead soon. That's a good micro with the cab archer. Like it. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice now. Got it. I'm not gonna get this one. That's a good micro. Blue didn't even pay attention until he's just dominating. Moving that one. Now gonna lose one. No, he didn't lose anything. Great job there, but now I teal. Great micro, I teal. Well, and obviously he has a an important lead here. Only three villages more. Why? Because he's also getting some fish. Fish, remember, with Japan. So Japan fishing ships now can help a lot. Can really help a lot. We forgot that he's Japanese, but he's raiding. More scorpions coming. Yeah. Poso. Okay. No horse collar even from blue. Not good. What happened in this tournament? We see a lot of people missing the economy upgrades. They forget, man. They really forget. And now all the cab barges are going to the hell. If I was Admiral Jisun, I would go forward village and make a castle here. He's gonna make forward castle or defensive, please. Send village and make a castle forward. Come on. Right? I mean, he can take the relics, he's taking the hand on the... On the other... Crazy amount of... Deers. And look at that TC, that's a good tone center. Protecting the stone and at the same time protecting the gold, but... Beautiful castle. I mean, the castle is beautiful. He cannot make it any any farther because this castle is very nice. Now sending more villages to finish it. Doing the wheelbarrow. He's coming with the crossbow, but he has to be careful. He should make a knight. He should definitely make a knight. Is he doing a knight? Yes, he is. And with one knight, he should be completely fine. Yeah, he has nothing to stop the army he has. He just need to micro the crossbows. The villages. Hmm, in some problems, but move the ooh, ooh. well with the night he will be fine. The night will stop it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. It was a beautiful castle, but then a little bit greedy. Didn't send any army. He's gonna take the monk. He's gonna take the monk. He's gonna take the monk. No. He's trying to take the castle, but now he's doing the siege war sub. Oh my goodness! Another throw by Teal. He did already one throw in the cross game, and and. Be careful with a new one, because the village difference is not a big one. And if Japanese reach the castle age in a good position, oh boy, oh boy, what the hell is he doing? This... K 
can't be the Viper. He's doing a Scorpion now, but he's throwing some good advantage. He's definitely th throwing some good advantage, in my opinion. The castle here was amazing, was ideal. And uh, he don't want to let the Japanese recover. Because the Mongols need more time, you know? The Mongols need time, if you ask me. He's gonna convert the knight. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see the micro. Micro! Man, well, one for one. And he keep coming with the same spot. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna make that castle anymore. He need to delete the castle. And now... Keep booming, because he lost a brutal opportunity to finish the game. He has four tone centers, great amount of farms. Yes, he has. He also have Bozo, Heavy Plow, Wheelbarrow, Blue, nothing. No upgrades, nothing. He's now doing the market forward, but he deleted the castle, and now he's doing the castle in this spot. He's just doing a random castle because he doesn't know what to do. He has to be careful. I think Blue blue can see this one. He can see this one. Let's see if he's gonna take the micro. No, he's not taking. Now he's not microing. Honestly, uh, they started the first game playing very smooth, but now they are playing... Mm, not that clean. I don't know if you agree, guys. But this is not that clean gameplay. I'm pretty slower than we expected. Slower than we expected. But still, Teal has a good advantage. His economy lead is important. He's doing the hand card. And, uh, well, let's see. Okay. And. Oh, nope. He took the Mangonel, man, and that ram, low HP. It's true that, yeah, his economy is amazing. Like, Teal economy is pff, much better. Much better. 15 villages more. He's still with a crazy boom, you know? I think he was overconfident, Teal. But now he's on the way to Imperial. On the way to Imperial, but again, almost no fight. Has been all a boom game, because... Do you remember Army from Teal? Army really didn't do a lot. Teal didn't do a lot of farming. Like those few Cavarses that raided and nothing else. He's fully booming from there because he got the advantage and he put Blue in a position, in a defensive position, you know? Yeah, he, start, he still have a super good economy. Yeah, that's that's truth what you said in the chat. You know? And uh, he's probably filling with a big, big lead. And he definitely has, you know? One, two, three, four tone centers. The castle in front. The other guy is on the way to Imperial as well. But the hundred villiers. He's gonna make now a castle there. He is doing a castle there, but this timing is important, and uh, who is losing those castles matters. Remember that if Japanese was going to be able to make the Kataparuto, those trebuchets are deadly. And now he will go Arbales. Yeah, he's doing the husband, he will go Magondais. But imagine Jasawa Towers, horse collar now, that's really bad. Teal is doing the Thambri. Well, they're starting to make all the upgrades now because they didn't have any any upgrades for cavalry. Or almost nothing. 31 farmers and after imp we'll go traps. Oh my would dice too, but traps. Traps are needed. Ferrari drums. Wait a little man. To make Ferraris you need a lot of economy, man. Yeah, Teal has a lot of map control, that for sure. A lot of map control. Yeah. That's why the score difference is, is big. Population difference is still also ahead. Big, big economy difference. Economy lead. Some light caps and what is he planning to do? What 
blue plan to do. Try which is for sure, obviously. Kassar upgrade. Usually Kassar, you have to be careful against Japanese because they have a great infantry. But since he's taking the lead, Kassar's fast is great if you make a lot of stables because you're gonna dominate great completely his economy and, and destroy, man. He still have a thousand stone, okay. 36 farmers, he probably need, need more. Well, I don't remember last hidden cap how it was the meta, but the meta now is is boom, 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 much more boom. Uh, we see a lot of booming games, barely see aggression, as you can see. We are in 38 minutes, and I mean, if they got some radio kill dead, uh, there was a couple of raided and nothing else. We have seen the boom completely, 115 at least, 130, and now the Hazard is gonna take the trap. He should repair that trap, but he's not doing. Yeah, and now those Hazards will take over, and with 2,000 score difference, this is the first series of the day, and Admiral g -san, with a throwing cross, it still has one, in my opinion, I don't want to say easy, but very convincingly, and uh, domination, you know? Domination. Admiral is Tatot. Yeah, Admiral is everyone. Admiral is Tatot, Doubt, Jordan, and Viper. Both in the same nickname. Yeah, absolutely. And now those Khazars, ooh, gonna take the traps. Is Walt Boom plus in battle? Yeah, for that I need a co-caster. And Bards. I forgot Bards, but Bards is not GL, you know? Bards is all the other players that are not GL, you know? Yeah, he's coming now with the Magonites. Also some Khazars. Population is still 170. He's going with the three which is forward. Blue is completely corner. And blue is bye-bye. Blue is bye-bye. Out of the tournament, Warwolf, beautiful nickname, but beautiful hero, I don't know, I mean, I was supposed to be heroes, but Warwolf is a hero? Cobra Car is a hero? What the hell? They are not heroes. At least, is what I think, right? Yeah, the rams are not needed when you get 50 farmers, still 2,000 gold in the bank, and this has been a total destruction. Even with the fail of that castle, you can have seen how Teal has destroyed the war wall. So, you only think one thing uh, when you see this. In cross, when you got all the legs, that player just throw the game. Was overconfident. Seriously. Yeah, GG call an admiral with some mistakes that prove that, that, yeah, he didn't make all perfect games, but it's still, I think this is more Viper than Jordan. I don't think this gameplay is Jordan, uh, except the cast of forward. Teal has played super clean, super clean. Even in, I mean, on on water in the islands map, he won easily and mostly. Well, even the cross and, and the first game, Arabia, that was absolutely from Viper. I think this might be the Viper, but let's see the statistics. Very clear, right? Very clear. Kills and losses, 129.90. You can see buildings well, all the conversions. Army high, 43. Economy, well, all the score is in favor by far from him. Economy, just look at the food collected. Wood, you know? I mean, crazy. Ah, collected, this, this is all the resources. That, that makes more sense. Wood, 18,000. Foot, 18K, 6,000 more. Look at the gold, stone, everything. Really gold already. And technology, yeah. 35 in, 36. There was no, almost no battle. And uh, guys, domination. Real domination by Admiral Ji Sun, who is going to the semifinals that will happen Tomorrow, you know, tomorrow, Sunday, hopefully, guys, if you watch this on YouTube, thumb up, and on YouTube, tell me below the, the video, 
Who are these players? Do you agree? Viper versus Bakhti versus SCCM versus who? Is Viper Admiral Jisun? Stay tuned.